Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing everything I've purchased so far from the Nordstrom anniversary sale, as well as my recommendations for the public sale. Now that it is finally open to everybody, anybody can shop. I just got back from my local Nordstrom. I ran in, did some last minute shopping, and I was planning to do a try on in store. But when I got there, I took a look around, kind of surveyed the landscape, and there wasn't much left unfortunately. I'm just gonna say it, you're probably thinking it, but the sale just doesn't feel as good this year and it totally makes sense and don't get me wrong there are still some incredible hidden gems most of which I've talked about in my last few anniversary sale videos so I will link all of those down below if you'd like to go back and check them out. A lot of the great items sold out within the first couple of days and merchandise has just been dwindling ever since. So if you plan to shop public sale, I would do so as soon as possible. Today, if you can. So hopefully today's video will be helpful to anybody who's shopping for the first time. I'm currently wearing the first item I have to talk about, but I did take some video earlier in the day, and this was sort of a surprise purchase. I thought I did such a thorough job going through the online catalog, but this just slipped right through the crack. So the first time I shopped in store, I found this on one of the racks randomly and I didn't even try it on. I just went ahead and I purchased. So this is from Socialite is the brand. It's the slit heathered t-shirt dress. On sale, it's $23.90. So you can see why I just went ahead and purchased. And after the sale, it goes up to $49. So a still a very reasonable price point for a casual dress. I was really surprised to see that it only has three stars out of five on the Nordstrom website, only three reviews, so that's not a lot. And I read what they said. A couple people thought it was kind of see-through and then one person said that the material is just so delicate, it's going to pill. And that's true, the material is so soft. It is so buttery, smooth. It feels so good against your skin, but it is the type of material that you just can't throw it in the dryer. <laughs> so you can throw it in the washing machine. I think it says hand wash. I would just throw it in the washing machine and then line dry and you shouldn't have a problem. I have a couple jumpsuits that are this material and they don't pill unless they accidentally make it to the dryer, in which case that's what happens. <laughs> as far as being see-through, I don't think that's the case at all. In fact, I'm wearing a very light nude bra, nude underwear. I did that on purpose when I went into the store to do my try-on and you can't see anything. I can't see anything in person. I couldn't see it when I looked back on the pictures and video that I took. So perhaps they got the lighter shade because it is available in two colors. There's this really dark kind of black heathered gray as well as a brown. Maybe the brown is a little bit more see-through. I don't think this is see-through whatsoever. The material is incredible. Today I styled it with these cute little booties. I also picked these up from Nordstrom, but several years ago, so unfortunately they're not available. Jeffrey Campbell, in case anybody wants to search the interwebs, you might be able to find them, who knows? But just some little booties and then an oversized distressed jean jacket, which I tied around the waist. So very casual. I didn't put a lot of thought into it, but I still felt like I looked put together when I was out and about. I didn't feel like I had to run from point A to point B and, you know, go like this so nobody saw me. If you wanted to dress it up, you probably could maybe do like a faux leather jacket and taller boots, something like that, maybe some jewelry. It's kind of a blank slate. It's one of those items you can throw it on and run out the door with flip flops if you want to and you won't look disheveled. The second item I purchased from the sale is this pair of boots from Vince Camuto. These are the Derica leather boots. On sale, they are $150. After the sale, they go up to $240. So I thought that was a really incredible deal. In fact, if you watched my complete guide, the very first video I did on the sale this year, this is probably not a surprise because they went right to the top of my wish list as soon as I saw them in the catalog because I had a pair of boots that were nearly identical to these. I owned them for probably close to 10 years if not longer and then last winter they finally died. The inner lining ripped. Somehow I walked through the bottom of the boots. There was just no fixing them. And these are even cuter than those. So let me open it up and show you. I took them out of the box already. I tried them on for Instagram stories, but then I put everything back in its place. 
So inside there's a little card. It says Vince Camuto. This applies mostly to darker boots. It says the traditional dye process may result in color transfer to lighter colored materials. So to avoid discoloration, store your shoes in their own box and avoid contact with light toned materials. Well, I picked up the shade Tortilla, so they're already light. But I guess if you had denim or something darker, you wouldn't want to rub that material close to this boot. I love the color of this suede. The Tortilla is perfect. It's this really pretty light neutral beige. So it's not too warm, they don't look orangey, and it's not too dark. I honestly think this is the perfect shade. They have a decent heel, wood block heel. It's about three and a half inches, I would say. Bottom. I love the pointed toe, the little zip right here. These also don't have a great rating on Nordstrom.com, but again, I read through all of the comments and people said that they were not calf friendly. If you had muscular calves, these wouldn't fit you. I have pretty muscular calves, they fit just fine. I've tried them on with jeans and I had some room. So take those reviews with a grain of salt. It's not a problem with the boot itself, just the fit. And because they're genuine suede, you could get them stretched if you really wanted them, if that was a problem. Even though I only tried them on in the bedroom, I walked around a little bit, they felt so comfortable. It's a tall boot, they hit right below the knee, and there's a little bit of subtle ruching. They're not too ruched, but a little bit, which I think is nice. Adds a little extra material and it just looks better. This is them. So pretty. On the website, it says they run small order a half size up. I ordered my traditional six and a half and they fit just fine. They feel, I wouldn't say roomy, but they don't even feel snug. They just feel really nice. I tried them on, like I said, with socks, with jeans, not an issue. At the very beginning of the sale, I ordered this Avec Les Fee coat. I picked up a double extra small. This is the Silver Lake Blue. I thought maybe I was going crazy picking up all of these fall items living in Miami, but it was just too great of a deal to pass up. And I think this was probably one of the best selling items. I just double checked. It looks like it's still available in an extra small and extra large. So hopefully by the time this video is posted, there are some sizes available. It does come in a different color. It fits true to size. It's available in camel and the silver lake blue. The camel looks really pretty as well. And because I ordered early, I was able to get my hands on a double extra small, which is the only reason I ordered it all together because I'm sort of petite, I'm very petite on top, so coats swallow me. I do have a couple coats. Living in a hot, humid climate, I certainly don't need a ton of outerwear, but we take trips up north, you know, we visit cold places, and it's nice to have pretty things. You know, I don't wanna be wearing the same one coat every single day over and over year after year. I saw this color and I just fell in love. It's even more beautiful in person than it is in the photos. It's just vibrant and we don't get this type of stuff. On sale, it's $199.90. After the sale, it goes up to $335. So that's really significant savings for a special piece. You know, it's not that I'm going to get a ton of use out of it, but whenever I do wear it, I'll be happy that I have it. The fit is perfect. The shoulders hit at the right spot. It's about a mid calf length, double breasted, and it's not a line. A lot of times coats like this tend to flare out or they have more of a triangle shape. Even if it's an elongated triangle, they just add a lot of volume at the bottom. I don't need that. <laughs> this fits completely straight down. So it's really slimming. I love everything about it. The material, the color, the buttons, it is such high quality. This coat is going to get a ton of use this fall winter. The last thing I ordered from the anniversary sale is this Free People Bralette. It's the Intimately FP Electra Lace Bralette. So on sale, it's $24.90, but the regular price is $38, which most of the bralettes I believe are $38 full price. So $25, a little bit less than $25 is a great price. 
this is an item that has been selling out like hotcakes and I don't know if they're going to restock, but they should. So right now it's only available in evergreen. It was available in a ton of different colors. I picked up the white a little while ago when I was in store, I also ordered black. That's something worth pointing out. If there is something that you have your heart set on and it is no longer online, the online inventory is different from the in-store inventory. So if you have an associate, they can look in the computer system and see if it's available in a store somewhere. You can still order it that way over the phone or if you go in person. Just something to keep in mind from my days whenever I worked at Nordstrom. So I was able to pick it up in black. I think that was the only other color. I'm looking at this evergreen. I might just have to pick this up. It's a great little staple to have. I took this with me on our trip over the weekend, so it's dirty, it's in the dirty clothes or else I'd show it to you. But I have the white, I now ordered the black. This is something that you could get in every single color as long as it's the right size. It's so comfortable and easy and you can style it so many different ways. I wore this to the beach, so I just put a jacket over it and wore it with shorts. Now these booties are not considered to be part of the anniversary sale, they're just on normal sale. But I was interested in a pair of booties and the ones on sale are actually $10 more expensive. You can always find Vince Camuto booties during anniversary sale and I wanted a pair because I don't own anything like them and I think I would get a ton of use out of them so I found these Ginsell booties. Regular price is $150 but on normal sale they're $74.50 so 50% off. The only thing I'm a little bit nervous because it says to size up but that those sizes weren't available so I actually sized down so these might go back to the store hopefully I can squeeze my little foot in there and wear them enough that they stretch out or I can maybe have them stretched because I picked up the taupe suede and I love this color because it almost looks like a little bit of a pale pinky taupe they're also available in a snake print leather if that's more your style I know I will wear solid colors. The snake prints, I'm sure they would come back in style, but it's not something that I think is going to be timeless. So just something to be careful about. Unless you live out west or something, I feel like snake print is a western print. And those are available in a lot of different sizes. The taupe, those are going pretty fast. Of course, the price is really nice. I'm trying to find a pair that's still in stock because there are a ton of different styles, but not a lot of sizes available. If I can find something great, I will link it down below as my recommendation because Vince Camuto booties are always nice to have. They go with everything and anniversary sale is really a great time to pick them up. So now I have some recommendations for the public sale if anybody's interested. The first recommendation is this Good Vibes Faux Leather Moto Jacket from Blank NYC. Because anniversary sale is always pre-fall fall, you get a lot of coats, jackets, denim, sweaters, a lot of cold weather items, and I believe Blank NYC comes out with a similar jacket every single year, but sometimes it has a ton of zippers or it's extremely fitted. It's a little bit too trendy. This year's jacket is really nice. I was able to try this on in store and I thought it felt really nice. It feels really substantial and I have something very similar. So I'm not going to pick this up because I don't want to duplicate something that's already in my wardrobe, but this one is way better. <laughs> so I am sort of tempted to get rid of the other one, maybe donate it and then pick this up. It's not too fitted, I, it hits at a good spot, it doesn't have too many button zippers all over it. It just looks really stylish, so this is the type of jacket that you can throw on with anything. In the picture she's wearing jeans, but you could wear this over a dress or a button down. You could do lots of different layers with it or just keep it kind of classic. Something like this is not going to go out of style. When I was in store earlier today, I was looking around at the denim. I always like to see what's on sale because there's usually a nice range. They start out with Topshop, I think is generally the least expensive, but then they go up to Page, Mother, a couple other brands that are more expensive. So if you do want a really nice pair of jeans, I think they're all really nice, but if you want a pair of expensive jeans, you can generally find a really nice deal. 
but they have everything in the middle as well. I've never heard of this brand. Cut from the cloth with K's. I think they look nice tucked into boots, that way you wouldn't be able to see where they cut anyway, but if you were gonna show the bottom of the pant leg, you might want them to be a little bit longer. I don't know, it's up to you. The wash is really nice, they're very stretchy, there was no gap or gaping at the back. They fit really nice around the hips, the waist, everything, so I really liked the way these were cut. They're only $58.90 down from $89.50, so I think that's really good savings. $58 isn't a bad price for a good pair of jeans. As I mentioned earlier, the selection in my store was very picked over, but I did try on a couple tops that I liked. This polka dot daylight top from Madewell was really cute. I just grabbed this from some random rack as I was walking into the dressing room, and I really like the color. I think this is a gorgeous blouse. On sale, it's $49.90, and then after the sale, it's going up to $88. I really liked the fit, the little details. I think with white jeans or maybe really light denim, this would be really cute. But you could also wear with dark denim, maybe layer with a jacket, sweater. It's a nice fall transition piece. Really love this blouse. I'm so happy I picked this up on a whim. The other top I tried on is from Rails. It's the Hunter plaid shirt. And this is available in a couple different prints, a couple different colors of plaid. I tried on the mulberry white indigo. It has a little bit of pink, a little bit of navy. It's really pretty. It's buttery soft, so soft. I think you have to hang dry this. You can't just throw this in the dryer or it will ruin the material, but it's beautiful. It's a little bit more expensive for a flannel, but I think it hangs really nice, the material. I mean, it's a quality shirt. You can just tell when you're wearing it. It feels really nice. Here's another item that completely slipped through the cracks. I did not see this the first time I looked online. I did not see this in store. I stumbled upon this, but I think it is so cute. I might end up purchasing this. It's from Free People. It's the Monterey Solid Slip Skirt in the shade Rose. It looks so pretty. I guess you could consider this to be pre-fall. I mean, it's a lighter pastel color. It looks very spring, but you could layer this with a denim shirt, a white button-down shirt. You could do sweater, jacket, and this could be a fall piece, but living here in Florida, this skirt is very much here and right now. <laughs> I have just a few more recommendations. I want to throw this one out there because this brand is always the most popular every single year for anniversary sale. It's Barefoot Dreams and I noticed there are two blankets I think still available as well as this cardigan. Barefoot Dreams is so insanely soft like it shouldn't be possible for something to be that soft and the fact that it's a cardigan instead of a blanket it's like a blanket you can wear outside your house and nobody will judge you for it is pretty amazing so here is the cozy chic light circle cardigan it's available in three different colors a couple different sizes some of them are sold out and i'm sure this is going to be an item that is not going to last very long on sale, it's $68.90, but after the sale, it goes up to $116. So that's an incredible deal for probably one of the comfiest, coziest cardigan you will ever own. And this is perfect right now because we're spending a lot of time indoors in our comfy clothes. I also really like these Mark Fisher booties. This is the O'Shea Pointed Toe Booty. I mentioned these in my complete guide as one of my recommendations. I still love them. I would pick up black. I think these look so classic, so chic. I'm probably not going to pick them up because I have something similar, but if you don't and you're looking for that classic shoe that you can wear for fall winter, this is a great deal. On sale, they're $99.90. After the sale, they go up to $190. So that's a huge savings. And once these get marked down from nearly $200, Maybe they'll get marked down close to 99, but by then a lot of the sizes will already be gone. So that's kind of my thinking in terms of the boots, because I know boots go on sale. A lot of these things, if it wasn't anniversary sale, you could just wait for them to go on sale. But with shoes, you never know if your size is going to be available. So it's worth taking advantage. I have an entire video dedicated to beauty that will be linked down below in case you'd like to check it out. A couple things have sold out, like the Olaplex set. 
is maybe available in stores. I want to say I saw the Olaplex set earlier today, but it's sold out online. Uh, the Baccarat Rouge 540 is sold out. So there are a couple things that are gone. What else? I just saw something else that was sold out. But this Sicily All Eyes on Sicily set is still available, and I think this is one of the best things in all of anniversary sale. It's one of the best things you can get. On sale, it's $215, but it's a $355 value. You get a full-size eye cream and the full-size eye contour mask that I love so much. If you're in the market for an eye cream, you cannot beat this little set because you get two full-size products for the price of one. So I love this. I also really like the Saint Tropez Express Bronzing Mousse. This is the jumbo size. It's one of the best sunless tanners and it's a great value. On sale it's $49. It's an $88 value. I pick one of these up every single year. Right now I have a surplus of sunless tanners so I'm gonna hold off. But if I didn't have all of those sunless tanners, I would be picking up another one. I always like the Charlotte Tilbury lip set. That's a great buy. I think it would make a great gift if you're thinking that far in advance. It's just one of those items. Great for yourself, great as a gift for somebody else. The new lash duo, it's basically buy one get one free. The Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base, buy one get one free. You can't beat those deals because it's just such an incredible value. I'm gonna keep scrolling and see if I can find any other hidden gems. If I see anything that is worth checking out, I will link it down below under recommendations. Everything will be there that is still available. I'm gonna try to keep it pretty concise. That way you won't be scrolling through too many items, but I think it'll just be so much easier for you guys to see everything in one place because these are items that you know you're going to use, you know you're going to go through, so you might as well get a really great deal. But that completes today's video. That's everything I've purchased so far. And if I make any future purchases, I will be sure to keep you guys posted. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I love hearing from you guys. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, hopefully everything is still available, down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.